Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Mark with My Front Range Living, and today we are going to be talking about the uh, COVID-19 pandemic that's going on right now and how it's impacting the local real estate market, and we're going to get started right now. Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Mark with My Front Range Living, uh, powered by Remax Integrity. I'm a full-time real estate agent here in Colorado Springs, and we have an interesting topic this week, quite frankly, one that I never thought that I would be talking to you about, and that is how the COVID-19 pandemic is impacting the real estate market, specifically here in Colorado Springs. First, we wanna talk about if you are selling or buying a home, the very first thing that we are concerned about is your health and safety. That is absolutely paramount. That's what we wanna keep in mind, whether you're selling your home or whether you're buying your home. So if you are a seller and someone says, I would like to see your home, you need to be asking some questions right now, some questions that maybe you wouldn't otherwise think of in normal circumstances. Like, have you been exposed? Uh, have you been around anybody who is known to have the coronavirus? Uh, anybody that has tested positive for um, COVID-19? So you need to be aware of that. Second thing is you're asking, hey, have you been traveling? So maybe you don't know that you've been exposed. Maybe you don't know that you would test positive, but have you been traveling? Because right now, uh, the pandemic is spreading very, very quickly based largely on traveling. The other thing that you should be asking is, hey, have you been coughing? Have, do you, are you running a fever, uh, sneezing, anything like that? Now, obviously, seasonal allergies are a big deal. Quite frankly, I sneezed at home the other day and I was really confident that my wife was going to put me outside for the next two days. But if you've been coughing, if you're running a fever, something like that, A, have the common sense and social decency to not request a showing and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but number two, uh, if you have, make sure, uh, if, as a seller, make sure that you're asking those questions so those folks aren't in your home potentially impacting you, okay? So another thing that you can do uh, when showing your home is, hey, uh, please use hand sanitizer. In fact, uh, if you would like, you can have your agent put that in the listing that you have for your local MLS. Just, hey, when you walk in the door, please make sure you're using the provided hand sanitizer. Now, obviously right now, uh, unfortunately, you may not be able to have access to hand sanitizer. If that's the case, just tell them, hey, please wash your hands at the kitchen sink uh, and then obviously provide paper towels so they can dry their hands and throw those away. Uh, so that you could ask them to wash their hands upon entry uh, or use hand sanitizer. I think that's super reasonable right now. Another thing that I would ask if I were a seller and one thing that you should be cognizant of if you are a buyer, that is no kids coming to showings. Now, uh, not to say that uh, kids aren't a part of the process. Kids are obviously very much part of the process. However, we all know that kids can be super spreaders. Kids are super resilient. However, will have uh, will will have a virus of some kind, but maybe not show any symptoms at the current moment. So, just make sure that when you are asking to show a home, see if you can make arrangements for your kiddos, or if you do bring kiddos. Um, maybe you and the other adult who are at the showing take turns or leave the kids in the car. One parent goes and then the other parent goes and takes a look. So you know, there are ways as a seller, you're asking these questions as a buyer, you're just cognizant of those around you as we work on this social distancing stuff. So it's just a another part of the market where we need to be cognizant. Another reason that it's a good idea to make sure that kiddos are kind of corralled during showings right now is I don't know about you, but my kiddos touch everything. Oh my gosh, if there is a surface to be touched, my kids are touching it. So kids are just curious. Kids get really, really curious and excited when they go to showings and they wanna to touch a lot of stuff. Ooh, this is new, this is new. And that's great uh, in normal circumstances. However, right now, obviously, we just need to be really, really cognizant of them. Another thing uh, that you can do Let's say uh, I am the listing agent for my seller. Someone wants to come see the house. That's awesome. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have my sellers turn on every light in the house and I'm going to have them open a couple of doors if possible. Obviously, if it's snowing then some of the exterior doors, you're not going to be able to open. But if the seller can turn all the lights on in the home and open a couple of doors, uh, that should absolve the potential buyers and the buyer's agent from having to touch anything in the house. You're not touching light switches, you're not touching any door handles or anything like that. All of that's open, all of the lights are on, and so it's just pre presentation ready when you as the buyer get there. So if you're selling your home, 
uh, make sure that you are present to turn those lights on, have the blinds open, open some doors if you can. And if you're a buyer, be cognizant. Hey, touch as few light switches as possible. This light's already on. Now, obviously, curiosity is going to get the best of you. And, oh, I wonder what this switch does. Maybe. But just be careful of that, okay? Uh, an another thing you could ask for if you were a seller uh, is have gloves, some latex gloves, right next to the hand sanitizer when they come in the door. That's a thing. Um, it might be an overreaction, but in this, at this point in time, it's hard to say. It's just another precautionary step for you to take. Have some gloves at the front door. And um, more importantly, like I said, if that buying agent is coming, if you're a buyer's agent and you're taking your clients to look at homes, maybe you throw the gloves on and you go turn the lights on so your buyers aren't touching everything either. Or if they want to look in a door, hey, let me get that for you. So uh, you can still buy and sell homes in this market. Uh, we just have to be careful. Uh, some of the things that we normally take for granted, or at least that I would take for granted when buying or selling a home, we just have to be a little more cognizant of right now. Another really important part of all of this process is once the showing is done, if you are the seller, you are going through with Lysol or some other cleaning agent and you are disinfecting door handles light switches because again even though you had everything on you don't know they might have touched them so just go through lysol those down the switches and the door handles and things like that and just make sure that everything's sanitary um so overall let, let's take a look at this from a thirty thousand foot view okay should we be holding open houses man this debate is going to rage on for at least a couple of weeks right Open houses. Well, obviously you're more exposed by having more people in a home at one time. So um, it may not be the best idea. If you are going to hold an open house, here are some benefits that I see. Number one, if I am uh, the listing agent and I am holding that open house, I'm the only person that touches anything in the house, okay? I can greet people when they come in. I can give them instructions to make sure that they're using that hand sanitizer or are washing their hands or are putting gloves on, things of that nature. And then I can take them through the house to make sure that they're not touching stuff. Or I, as the listing agent, and opening those doors for them or turning the light switches on, things of that nature. So that's a good thing. Now, how would we stagger all of that as opposed to having people flood open houses? Easy enough. By and large, uh, agents are really, really respectful of other agents. Hey, someone's in the home right now. Give me just a second to walk them through the house and when they're done, we'd like to have you come in so we can show you. So you can stagger. Again, you, can't, you don't want too many people in the house at one time because that just increases your exposure. But the reality of it is there's still a way to host uh, effective open houses and still make sure that everything's sanitary. Another great way that you can show homes right now or uh, as on the selling side, make sure that you're out there. Provide a virtual tour of your seller's home. You can get a 360 degree camera and you can show people around the, the, the home really, really well. So on top of the pictures, on top of any exterior photos that you may have, you're giving them a 360 degree tour of their house, uh, of that house. So people get a better idea of what it looks like. Hey, it's just like I'm walking through this house. Another option is FaceTime. We all have uh, access to our phones anymore. And so we can take you through a home as buying agents we can take you into homes and just say, oh, hey, uh, great kitchen, uh, granite countertops. It looks like they have some stainless steel uh, fixtures here. And so you, just stuff like that. You, 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 can, you can take them through the house. You can give them a good idea of dimensions, so on and so forth, and how the home is going to meet their expectations. And, and really what that does more than anything is, yeah, this house really checks a lot of boxes for us. It's definitely worth our time to go and check it out. So it just kind of helps uh, during that process. So uh, FaceTime or 360 degree virtual tours. It might even be possible to reach out to that, to that listing agent and say, hey, um, we, do you mind giving us some more pictures? If you are with your sellers right now, we had some questions about this, can you measure this? So there are ways around uh, showings right now that we, that we as the uh, real estate professionals can help you with. Um, the number one question on everybody's mind is how is this pandemic going to impact the markets? Uh, and the answer is we don't know. Uh, if we knew that we would be uh, pretty popular right now to say the least. 
Uh, the reality of it is we have gone through this as a nation before. 9-11 uh, comes to mind, certainly not to the same degree as 9-11, but the markets went down. The markets were all over the place. Uh, they were rubber banded, pull this way, push this way, things like that. So my, my gut feeling is we will rebound. There are a couple of primary differences uh, this go around between uh, the 9-11 uh, markets, then the 2008-2009 markets, and now. Uh, the, one of the biggest things is we had a really strong market going into this. Interest rates are incredibly low, and the government, while probably not reacting as quickly as they could have, are still reacting far quicker than they have uh, in years past. So um, they are out there. They're trying to help the American public and keep the economy um, on the track that it was prior to the pandemic hitting America. Uh, another thing that's impacting Colorado Springs specifically is there's a military movement moratorium, if you will. Um, the military is not going to move any families from this base or any other bases until about May 11th at this point. Now that's subject to change. They could push that out farther depending upon what we're walking into at that time. But right now, um, there's not a lot of military movement. So the PCSing, so for those of you who were looking to buy a home before the pandemic hit, this could be a great opportunity because not as many people will have the opportunity to physically come and see houses because they can't travel. So uh, if you are here locally in the Colorado Springs area, now could be a good time for you, which leads me to the last point that I want to make. And that is, it's the perfect time to buy. It's the perfect time to sell. Um, I don't buy into that. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I think it is a really good time to buy, and I think it is a really good time to sell. As far as it being the perfect time to buy and sell, that's up to you, the consumer. It might be the right time to buy and sell. Uh, don't let us make that decision for you. Let us help you in making that decision. Yes, rates are very, very low, but if you're a little bit worried right now, hey, I don't know about my job, there's a little bit of uncertainty, then let's hold off on this search right now to buy a house. It doesn't make sense to stretch yourself and stress out about the home buying process. It may not be the right time. Yes, again, values are incredibly high right now in the area, so selling makes sense for a lot of folks, unless you don't know where you're gonna go, right? So even though, yes, your home has a lot of value, it may not be the right time to sell. Don't let an agent tell you that it is the right time to sell or the right time to buy. You make that decision by asking us the questions and helping us educate you on the market. It may very well be the perfect time to buy or sell for you, but that's something that we all need to talk about on a case-by-case -case basis. Hey, uh, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. We know that these are odd times. Uh, we know that it's super, super interesting and a lot of folks are on edge. If there's anything that we can help with, any questions that you might have, not just about the real estate market, but about Colorado Springs in general right now, please feel free to hit us up. You can leave a comment below. You can hit us up on uh, the other social platforms, Facebook or Instagram, uh, at My Front Range Living. We're available there. Uh, phone number is down below in the comments. You can hit us up there as well as our website. Uh, and it would mean the absolute world if, as you're watching this video, you'd give us either a thumbs up or even more importantly, go down below and hit subscribe to our channel. We put out content every single week. I'm Mark with My Front Range Living, powered by Remax Integrity. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.